We now have die cut all of our white pieces to create our snowman body. First, let's look at those large snowman pieces. These are identical with the exception of the center. As you see, one has a slot down the center and one has notches, top and bottom. On that notched one, there is a little crease to fold down the little triangle at the top. That allows that piece to go through the slot on the other piece. So I'm just going to slide the bottom in until that center slot is in the notch in the center and then I'll slide the top through and because I folded that down it will just fit and then I'll just unfold that little tab and now I've made essentially an X as you can see there and that's the core of my snowman. The remaining pieces for our snowman are the four circles and then we have that base piece that our snowman is attached to that goes inside the card. Now this piece here has three creases. It has one up the center and then these two tall pieces are wings and they fold up. So we'll just work those creases and this is the little base that holds our snowman up inside of our card and that center crease there will actually go right inside the center fold of our card. Let's set this aside for just a second. Grab two of our circles and we're going to notch these together to make a corner. As you can see, they all have center slots, but on the sides there's either a slot or notches, and each circle is the same. And the whole concept of the snowman is that notches go into slots. So if you have notches on this side, it needs to go through the slot on the other side, and that will make a corner. I go through from the bottom first, and then just supporting the top of that slot so that it can't tear through, I'm just going to kind of bend and pull that other side of the notch right through and then I'm going to let go and now you see I've made a corner just like that. The back of the snowman gets attached to that base piece there and we will do that step next. I've zoomed in on my base piece so I can show you where to add the adhesive. And the important thing when you're adding your adhesive to the back of these wings is that we go no lower than that tall shelf with our adhesive. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to turn that over and I want to add some tacky tape right here and right here. And I want to start that tacky tape right even with my tall shelf. I've added tacky tape to the back of my base piece, making sure that my tacky tape started at the taller side and didn't go any further down towards the fold from that. Here's that corner that we made. And this base piece here is just going to go right inside that corner and those little stair steps at the bottom are meant to help you line that up so if I were to remove the liner on my tape to make it sticky, then I'll stick it down right here and notice I am just going to, I kind of center it in between the slot here and either the slot or the notch, whatever is on this side. So I've stuck half of my base piece inside that corner and at the bottom you can see that the contour of the circle lines up with those two little shelves. If I were to turn this over you'll see that the circle does not extend past that little shelf on either side. And that's why my adhesive started up that high, as I didn't want any adhesive in here where it would be exposed. Now I'm going to turn that back around again. And then the other half of my base is going to do the same thing right over here and that is going to create a corner that will go inside the card and that's the back of my snowman right there.